for years we've been caring for our uh, beautiful campus and we not only take pride in the beauty of the campus but also in what it can offer to the community and so to keep the, these you know beautiful grounds um, as a place for people to find peace but we also are aware that there are examples that we can give to help in uh, the furthering of creation to uh, be able to thrive. And one of those things is to create a pollinator garden. And I'm going to invite Noel Terranova, a member of our team, who is also spearheading our work on earth justice, to share a little bit about his efforts to uh, engage in the pollinator garden and all and other things here at Holy Family. So, Noel. Thank you, Father David. For years, actually, Holy Family has not used herbicides or pesticides or fertilizers on its grounds to create a more natural balance in, in, our, in our grounds. And in fact, we have natural habitat on the 48 acres that we have here that's crucial to this local environment to connect, get people to connect with that more on a spiritual level and in social transformation. We've had in our programs the opportunity to engage people through our grounds. Most recently for our family retreat, we were able to plant a pollinator garden just behind the monastery with over 150 all native species that are meant to support beneficial insects and especially pollinators in our region. There was a component of education for the families that were on the retreat about those components, about Laudato Si, about what we do here at Holy Family, and about those plants that we we're going to plant. And then we actually did it. We did it as a prayerful group experience, and it's very beautiful. It's thriving, it's flourishing, and it'll be a point of education for us here at Holy Family for groups who are to come. Most significantly, it was really impactful to have that compost from our composting <laughs> program be the, the soil that nourished these plants. Full circle. Full circle, exactly. Um, so education in our programs is always very important to us. We have many middle school groups that come from Catholic schools for retreats. We bring them out on the grounds. We bring them to the solar array. We have them pray the prayer of St. Francis there. We teach them about carbon neutral electricity generation. They pray in the woods. They walk the labyrinth. They really have a sense of how nature connects to their spirituality, which for that generation is very close to their hearts. As other groups come here, we make our grounds a feature of what we do and how we do it. But we've also expanded into more intentional, environmentally focused programs. There's too numerous for me to go through all of them in this context, but I'll mention a couple. Last year, we had the inaugural Thomas Berry Lecture, which brings forward the legacy of Thomas Berry as a passionist, as a cultural anthropologist. Dr. Mary Evelyn Tucker, who is the founder of the Yale Forum on Ecology and Religion, was the inaugural presenter in that lecture. And this year, we have Father Joe Mitchell, a passionist priest, coming to present the second in that series. We hope that every year, that will be a big part of our community identi identity animating us in that work. In our contemplative programs this year, we have three contemplative ecological um, offerings that allow people to enter into contemplation of nature. This and many other things are becoming a growing part of our ministry here at Holy Family. I'm very honored to be a part of it. Thank you, Noel. And thanks to all of our team and staff uh, for the work that we've been doing with our community. Um, we, in addition, are offering a few vegan dinners to educate people that there's other possibilities besides uh, animal protein um, that can be helpful to the environment. And slowly but surely, we're educating those who come to Holy Family. It's a very large retreat center, uh, and there are many, many people who come through here uh, each year. So the little bit that we can do to awaken the understanding of our call to care for our common home in Laudato Si is what we're uh, attempting to do. So thank you for listening, and let's pray for one another in our efforts to be one in creation. <music> <music>